Hello, Hassan Master Reviews is back, and today's review will be The Time Traveler's Wife. Now, this is a. Well. Well, this is a. Which is a movie based on a book, and. And this is a movie that's gone a. Uh, mixed reviews, I should say. What do I think of it? Well, I think it's alright. Yeah. Well, anyway, let's just go with the plot summary. The, f the film involves stars is the journey of Henry, played by er by Eric Banner. He is a man who can, who after who can time who after what after an accident that killed his mom can time travel when when he least expects it. Pretty much, he has no control over his power and just time travels to re any re any point of time when when there's uh, something that involves that involves him happens. As in the car crash. One day at work, he meets he meets Claire, who was played by Rachel McAdams. Rachel McAdams, yeah. And she has seen Henry time travel multiple times in the past, and has developed a crush on him. In fact, Henry Henry Suge herself has prepared her for those moments by often visiting her, giving her advice on what to say to him. Henry even Henry does take some does eventually warm up to, to Claire and the two eventually get married. They find, they buy themselves a house after Henry cheats a lot a, a lottery. <laughs> that's actually that's actually my favorite part of the film actually. And even have a, a daughter named named Bat named Alba. However but they so this and basically the movie continues on with this life of and romance of Henry and Claire. While also dealing with many other challenges that happen in their life. As well as trying to figure out a way to limit Henry's time travels from, well, hurting him, well, causing problems in the future for him. And I'm not going to reveal what happens in the end, but if you've read the original book or seen the movie, you know what's going to happen. And even if you don't know what's going to happen, the film foreshadows the events of what's going to happen in the future with for Henry. And yeah, that's my biggest problem. This is that the ending is definitely very predictable, and it's definitely something I can always probably say. Yeah, that's gonna happen. There's no, it's gonna happen no matter what. In fact, they even tease it a bit with an event that happened before Henry first met Claire when she was still just a kid. But anyway, um, we'll get to the cons later. What do I think of the movie as a whole? Well, overall, I think it's still. The pros are pretty good. I mean, you've got the act, I find I find the acting really good. Both Banner and McAdams are good as the leads, and everyone else handles does it well as well. The romance I find is really believable. I think that's the best part, and definitely is that my favorite thing about this film. It's the romance. It just feels so real, and even with this supernatural element to it, it's it's still grounded and feels believable, and definitely will always be that way. And I find the rules of time travel in this is actually a really cool concept. Basically, whenever Henry time travels, he's got a he basically arrives in this area naked, so he has to find clothes and by basically stealing stuff and and get and to keep himself warm because he's in a very cold area, he has to break into houses to or cars to keep himself warm. In fact, in some cases, he even has to contact um, Claire to pick him up. And help him out. Yeah, but um, and I find the daughter, the little, the daughter in this actually pretty cool. She she ends up getting her own time travel abilities, but and she has more control of it than Henry's, and she's actually pretty fun. I actually like Alba. Alba actually, I think the actor for her did a really good job. But we get on to the cons, and this there are a few. As I said before, the predict the ending is my least favorite thing because it, you see it a mile away. I mean, come on, you know what's going to happen in the end. And well, it does. The movie does end it on a happy note with involving Henry and his family, but it's still you still know it's going to happen. No matter what Henry does to avoid it, it's going to happen no matter what. And Speaking of Henry, in fact, for 
this also counts for Claire as well. I think the characters act too irrational at points this, in this movie. Like, when Henry and Claire are trying to have a baby, Henry Henry's time traveling causes problems with the fetus. And eventually he decides to get a vasectomy, which is believable, but he, he should have told Claire this, but you know what, I can understand why he would do it. He didn't want to hurt her, but... Then he time travels to a point when Claire's a teenager and basically has her first steals her first kiss there. Why? And then Claire eventually gets a contact from a younger version of Henry to pick him up and she ends up having sex with him so he can so he can so she can get pregnant one last time. Oh jeez. That really is the most confusing part of this. And yeah, I, I don't know why that happened. Yeah, I think the characters act too irrational. The music is also dull in this, but to be honest, there's really hardly any. And I find the pacing the movie a bit too slow and fast at even points, j just for me, in my opinion. I think they could have fixed it up a little bit more, honestly. But that's really the end. So what do I do I think of this? Honestly, as I said, I think it's okay. It's not great, but to be honest, you could it could have been a lot worse. And honestly, I'm I'm just amazed they managed to pull it off as well as they could have. And you know, I think the actors, as I said, my favorite thing is the acting, and the actors really put a lot of time into making this movie feel right. And I gotta give credit to it. I just wish they could have. Okay, I'm not sure how the book handles the ending, but yeah, as I said, that's my major problem with this, but really, it's still a good movie, and definitely one I think you should all give it a shot, maybe finding out whether it's good for you. I don't, it's just a movie you just gotta figure out to see. So what do I think of it? Honestly, I'm gonna give it a 6, ten, six out of 10 hat stars. As I said, the ending maybe isn't really the best, but there are it's sort of the, the faults and the and the pros even out, honestly. So what do I plan to for my next review will be? Well, I'm thinking it'll be a book review. So, like I say, this is Hasmerous Reviews. Out. See you next time.